Confession time. For the past seven days, I've been journeying into the world of 3D animation and modeling using a software called Blender. My ultimate goal with this is to be able to model some assets I'm able to use in future projects, but also to be able to model something I'm able to 3D print in the future. Now as a filmmaker, the softwares I use constantly are DaVinci Resolve, Premiere Pro and After Effects. So you might be thinking, why didn't I choose Cinema 4D to pair with After Effects? But the reason I liked Blender is because it's free and also open source. So there's a lot of resources out there to be able to learn it faster, but also low barrier to entry if I didn't like it. Kicking off with project number one, I started with the classic Donut. The Donut is the most recommended go-to first project as it gives you a good insight into basic modeling, sculpting, and shading. I really like the donut tutorial, not only that it's done by an Australian, but it gives you a good base of fundamentals to play with and introduces you to different workspaces that you'll be using in the future. This project took me a few hours across two days and the final result was super satisfying. I finished with a matcha cream filled donut with a chocolate topping and with Jaffa's also on top. It was not the most appealing donut, but I was super happy with the result. Moving on to day two slash three, and project two has to be one of my favorites. This is a miniature dream room. This project gave me an introduction into different cameras inside of Blender, and since the style was very simple, I was able to model a lot of things myself and be a little bit more creative with it. When I did get stuck or I wanted to do something in particular, like figure out how to put a hole in a shape or to make a cable, I just looked up those tutorials separately, but I'll leave all the tutorials I followed down in the description. Moving on to project number three, and this took a similar time to the previous projects, which was a few hours at the end of each day. The tutorial I followed was done by the same guy who did the donut, and this time around I was modeling a chair. I really like the chair because the model you're left with at the end is supposed to look a little bit more realistic and it also gives you a good introduction into different curves and complex shapes using loop cuts and extrusions and then finally wrapping it up with UV editing which I'm still getting the hang of UV editing and textures but this got me a little bit closer to understanding it. In addition, the chair teaches you good topology which I'm still also getting a hang of but I'm super happy with the final result. With a few days remaining, I was scrolling on Instagram, looking at different 3D artists and animators, and I took a lot of inspiration from them and just decided to make a few projects on my own. So model four, five, and potentially kind of six are pretty crap, but I got the hang of just trying to make something in Blender. And boy, was that challenging. Not following someone, was difficult because I wasn't able to just quickly reference the video onto what buttons to press. I just had to remember the shortcuts to press. I did have a few cheat sheets that I started writing out when I first started learning Blender, but I also did look up some tutorials when I got stuck. Starting the process of Model 4, I had exactly what I wanted in my head and I tried my best to do it through Blender. I got pretty far, but the main catch was when I wanted to make a more complex shape or object and then when I wanted to texture the objects. They're not the most elegant textures. I played around glass and metal and just the standard textures that are built in but in the future I would really love to learn how to do proper texturing like concrete and glass better. For the next projects like this gear, I did play around with a little bit more lighting and in each project I tried to practice something new every time and it was really fun. If you're thinking about learning a new software, a few tips I would give which I had to remind myself was number one, post as much as you can so that way you can get a lot of feedback. Number two, put in a timeline so that way you don't feel like you're going on this endless journey. And I think putting a timeline for yourself allows you to also reward yourself at the end of it to look back on the progress you've done and be proud of the things that you've made or set it aside and work on a new project. The third final tip I would give to anyone looking to pick up a new software, 
I had to remind myself of this a lot, which is you're gonna make a hundred crap projects before you make a really good one. So looking at my models that I made by myself, I'm like, this looks so bad to what I envision it to be or what I'm looking at other 3D artists creating. But knowing that I'm gonna make a hundred bad ones before I make a good one, is something good to remember and it humbles you as you're just having fun with creating. I definitely haven't mastered Blender by no means and probably won't over the next few years, but I'm excited for this journey and am thinking about doing a 30 day version of this video. So let me know if you'd be interested in that down in the comments below and I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Thanks for watching, bye.